Hey Warrior Team, I'm Maddie and welcome back to Warrior Hatter. So as you know the Halloween update is leaving soon, it's the 10th or the 11th of November and it will be leaving on the 15th as you can see here on the screen. And that's kind of sad but they did extend it, it was supposed to leave on Halloween but it did leave on the, it's leaving on the 15th. So that's pretty good. Before we get started with why you should play before it leaves, make sure to subscribe if you're new and like this video, comment something nice if you're already subscribed. And comment what videos you want to see next and subscribe to our second channels. Okay, so like this update is leaving really soon and the candy store. These items are always so valuable during like when it isn't Halloween. So these new ones I haven't got yet. And they're going to be quite valuable. So people will be trading a lot. People normally trade a lot for the ghosty stuff like that. The goffy lita. That is going to be so expensive. People are going to charge you so much for that. I'll be making a video about when the update's gone, I'll make a video about prices, the Nocturnal Kitty is and the broomstick. So the Shadow Empress is always overpriced, so we've got to get that soon. And I'm pretty sure that the Day of the Dead items are on sale, so let me search. Yeah, here they are. So I've actually been saving up. I think I can almost afford all of them, and I will be making a video of buying them all as they go in 20 days. But yeah, so what you want to do is before the update leaves, you have to die candy farm like crazy. That means do not join the game, and if you've already done this, you're probably going to have some regrets when the update goes. Do not go to the game and go to this little stand and trade in your candy for some money, like I once did. Because no, you don't want to do that, you want to keep your candy. And it actually keeps your candy for next year, so... As you can see, I have my little amount, we're only getting me 2,000. So I wouldn't recommend trading it, because diamonds are way easier to get than candy. Oh, it's not all. My friend Ina, okay. I think she's one of my Rocky friends, I don't know, okay. But what you literally have to do is you have to candy farm, like we need these items. So let me talk about which items you should get. So, um, first of all is the new Goffy Cutie set, the Way Rebel and the Shadow Empress. Any of those sets, it's really important to get. The Spooky Wings, of course, we love the Spooky Wings. People don't really trade wings normally, but yeah, they're really nice to have. But it's just a candy store, really, so... All the Goffy Leader stuff, um, just get it and wait. I think you should wait a few months till maybe December until it gets high in demand and you can get some really good trades for it. So Magical Broomstick, of course, save up for it. It's going in five days and it's so expensive and I'm so broke. Um, But yeah, that is so expensive and it, literally. Okay. <laughs> so, so many people want to trade for that thing. The other word, Eclosion, is so amazing. Lots of people are going to want that. Um, the cat stuff again, that's so high in demand when it's in Halloween. So I'm not sure about ghost transformation, it's really epic for trolling, so that might get a bit high in demand, maybe in a few months time, once it's been gone for a while. So the classic accessories, such as the are actually you know, fabulous and cheaper ones, such as Kitchen Accident and the new ones like um, Chamber Chains, um, Fancy Monocle Eyepiece, eye Pumpkin Costume, then not earrings all the cheap stuff that's not gonna be high in demand it's only 100 candy it's not gonna go high so yeah i don't think anyone's really gonna trade for it but as you can see i'm buying one of them it is still nice to have it because it's a really cute accessories and even if no one's gonna trade you for it it's still good to have it because you never know they might not bring it in next year if they don't have it in next year for example they're gonna move it it's gonna be high in demand seriously so I don't think they're going to remove it since they didn't remove any accessories this year and they're not going to change the price but it could get high in demand even though it's so cheap but some people don't buy the cheap stuff and then the cheap stuff can get high in demand if the people don't buy it for example they don't buy it because they think everyone's going to buy it so there's no point they can just trade like five dramas for it anyways but then nobody everyone thinks someone's going to buy it so nobody buys it and, and then there's like those few people who are just trading it and that's going to be pretty good. So it's quite annoying when I buy something and I lag. Like, that's annoying. But yeah, so I just really would recommend buying this stuff. Since it's November, the stuff I would recommend getting is just keep buying for five more days. Yeah, but I am honestly don't really think the cheap stuff is worth it. Unless you want doing what I'm doing. It's worth it because like, it's a draw, but it's amazing. So yeah. But honestly, the Shadow Empress set has always been one of the highest sets in demand, seriously. I've seen so many videos talk about how much people trade for this. Seriously, it is crazy. 
people just trade so much money for this and it is just insane you do not need to trade that much for a set so see although warrior webber has always been a bit behind it since it came in 2020 it hasn't been on demand for only a year or two that's not that high in demand but oh this pumpkin stuff is gonna look adorable if you buy some wings for it yes the gothic cutie set we don't really know about the demand yet for example if you go on to tradery they actually say what people trade for it i'll show this on the screen right now they only do this in games that have one currency for example in adopt me and other games it doesn't say that because like you can try pets and all that stuff and you can't really trade money but in World High, because it's only diamonds and you can't trade candy or anything, it just says how much diamonds people normally trade. And if you have noticed, I'm making a video about I'm going to be making a video about Halos. The Spring Halo 2020 used to be the lowest tier Halo. People traded about 300,000. It's still a lot of diamonds, but it's the cheapest one you can get apart from the Angel. It isn't technically a Halo. People trade 300k. It went up in demand to, to almost 900,000. Seriously, that's almost a million. The most expensive one, the Halloween 2019 Halo. That is the cutest Halo of a little ghost floating around it. Everyone always trades for that. It's always so high in demand. Very rare. I think only about 9,000 people in the... No, I don't even think 200,000. I'm not sure. Barely anyone in the world has that Halo. But like 20,000 people have the spring one. That's why it's so low in demand. But seriously, that Halo is the cutest thing ever. And people trade up to 10 million. Like, people have that much. Like, and people go like... Oh, the lucky halos. Oh my god, these halos. They were, I haven't seen them in the shop yet. What? I can't even read this. This description is so big. I can't even read it. I can't even see it. The writing is smaller. But I'm not sure if it's in the shop. Since yeah, I can't scroll down. But it is literally it. Trust me, if you've seen it, you will know how beautiful it is. I've seen it in game a few times. Oh my god, the new halo. I haven't seen it yet. It is so pretty. I can make a video about showing these halos. Oh, here it is. This is the highest one. Everyone wants this. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. And make sure to buy these really soon because they will be going soon. And we do not want to miss it. Literally, uh, we're gonna be so annoyed when we when the when the um cheap things become really expensive and high in demand. We're gonna be like, oh shit! Sure. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I traded that for only one hundred diamonds. I could have traded it for like five thousand. Oh, I met a YouTuber once, but I'm a YouTuber. Oh my god, you're talking about YouTubers. I'm gonna find them. I'm a YouTuber. I'm famous, not. Do you met a YouTuber? Oh, that's not fair. I've never met any YouTubers apart from my friends who are YouTubers. Like, um. She used to be called Ice Game XD, Cloudy and Nika, and Nika. She keeps changing her channel name. It is so confusing. Like, oh my god. Wait, so she met a YouTuber. Wow, when you can't even get their badges yet. Wait, so you couldn't get their badges yet when that person met a YouTuber. That, I feel sorry for them. But yeah, guys, make sure to just buy these things before they, before they sell out. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed and bye.